We have a very high hope for being able to treat patients with the products of stem cells. Uh, I don't know when that's going to occur. I wish I could promise it as soon as five to ten years, but in, in reality it may take much longer. However, we're hopeful that one of the first successes will be in the blood. So we've known for many decades that we can transplant healthy bone marrow, which is the blood forming tissue, from a donor into a diseased patient, someone who might have leukemia or might have one of these genetic diseases. The problem is that we don't have a matched donor for every patient. And so some patients go without the ability to have this potentially curative bone marrow transplant. But if we could take from every patient a skin biopsy and make their own stem cells, be able to make blood stem cells that we repair genetically and we can give them back a healthy transplant, we could solve the donor shortage problem for bone marrow transplantation. We could treat any one of dozens of diseases. After we've gained this success with blood, we want to start expanding to other tissue types. So we now have efforts going with the lung biologists, and there are very exciting opportunities for thinking about treating cystic fibrosis with this strategy. We're talking with experts in metabolic disease. We're talking with cardiologists. We're beginning to study the development of beating heart cells in the Petri dish. The applications of these pluripotent stem cells are really limitless. It's been unfortunate, but already we've seen medical entrepreneurs, uh, typically not within the United States, but in rather unregulated uh, locales like uh, Bermuda or China or Russia, already offering so-called stem cell therapies to patients. Patients are, are vulnerable. Patients want to believe that there's a cure out there somewhere. And they're unfortunately uh, too, too easily preyed upon by the siren call of clinicians who claim to have the answers. So we're, we're involved in trying to educate people about the realities of stem cells. Whereas we do believe we're making progress, it will take time. And so patients need to be wary. They need to use all of the resources available, including the, the, the clinicians and scientists at Children's Hospital to answer their questions. Also, we at Children's Hospital have been leaders at the International Society for Stem Cell Research. And this organization, the leading worldwide professional organization of stem cell scientists, has come up with a set of guidelines for moving this very promising science to proven clinical therapies. And on the website, www.isscr.org, patients can find information packets to arm them with the information they need and the questions they need to have to ask their doctors whether or not the kind of therapy that they're being offered is stem cell based and is legitimate. Because we do hope to be able to have real stem cell therapies coming online over the next five to ten years, but patients have to be wary of those uh, illegitimate folks who are promoting stem cells way ahead of their being proven. And so we hope in uh, someday in the not too distant future that each area of disease that is uh, studied and treated in the children's hospital community will be using in one way or another the fruits of the pluripotent stem cell biology.